One group, so we've got four routes, um, and they take an average of two and a half to three hours, um, depending on traffic, build up traffic. Um, but we, we ultimately want to be completed within a three hour window, because that gives us the eight hour window for salt on the, on the ground. Uh, you know, buses and, and school routes are our priority. So um, we generally, we call them artillery roads or arterial roads, which are the bus routes, main routes, A roads, B roads, anything that will go in and out of major cities or to the motorways. Um, so we, we cover approximately 300, 350 kilometers of road uh, with four, four routes. Now, if we was to do every single road in the, the Havering borough, borough we, we physically wouldn't be able to. We'd have to employ you know, 30, 40, 50 people working at a 24 hour um, coverage or at least the, the key windows 10 till four. Um, we physically couldn't do it. Um, it's a preventative measure. It doesn't actually melt um, ice or snow. It's, it's to, to help reduce um, the, the temperature at what water freezes. So the, the salt allows the water residual down to minus four. Um, if, if we don't get the preventive um, salt down, then obviously we're going to have ice fall on the road, which would uh, be hazardous. But we still need vehicles to be agitating that salt in the ground to help ensure that there is no ice fall on the roads. Although the misconception is that you wake up in the morning and your car's white with frost, it doesn't mean that the road surface temperature is actually cold because it's a lot warmer than the air temperature. So, you know, it's another factor that we have to key in. So a lot of people get the misconception that if you're ice on your car, we should have gone gritting, which isn't always the case.